Okay, kids, welcome back to the shop. Today we're working on the automatic feed for the quill on the milling machine. So you can see here I'm missing some parts. I have a picture here of what it's supposed to look like. You see the hand wheel? Well, that moves the quill up and down. It's a fine adjustment. And inside the hand wheel is a knob. You pull that knob out and it makes the quill move up, I think and then in is down. So this handle that I'm messing with engages the feed. If I hold it out, it does work. There's got to be some kind of an adjustment. I'm going to tear this thing apart and see what we're in for. What I don't realize is that bolt that I'm taking off is the adjustment. That's all I had to do was adjust that one nut. Let's get a good look at this thing. We're going to hold up right here. I'm going to try to explain how this works. You see that pin to the right? There's actually a spring behind it that goes down into the housing. That arm that engages the drive rests against this pin, and then that adjustment screw pushes against the arm, in turn pushes the spring, and that's the adjustment. This thing is a filthy mess. There's a ton of crud in there. This needs cleaned out and lubed. It's a good thing I tore it apart. I give this thing a well-deserved bath. Everything's looking pretty good. The gear is in good shape. The spring, all these other innards look good. I'm not sure what I'm looking at, but I'm going to call this good. Let's put it back together. This is pretty easy to get back together. You have to line up the keyway. And then that arm has to line up with the pivot point. The hardest part is to get that spring and pin lined up. That's what I'm doing right here. So at this point is where I realized that little bolt sticking out and the nut that I put on there, which is really a jam nut, is how you adjust the feed. All right, guys, what it was, was this is an adjustment. And I've been messing around with it. So this is up now, that's neutral. So let's go down, it would be in, there's in. And you see it's moving. See the handle's moving, but look at this. So that's moving, we wanna make sure that we really want that in neutral, okay? Push this in and it stops. Pull this out, this will be up. There it goes. All right, we got it working. All right, now that I have this working, I'm gonna head off to Fusion and I'm gonna draw up some kind of wheel mechanism with a bolt on it that I can push it in and out. So I don't want some kind of bulky hand wheel that's gonna be hitting me in the face. That's why these things were removed in the first place. If you look at most mills, they don't have these things on them anymore. People took them off and threw them away. All right, this is going to be pretty hard to explain. But if you look at the mill, you see that there's those two holes in the fine adjustment. And then also I have that bolt that pulls out and in. So this thing needs to do both. It needs to pull out and then stay engaged in those two holes. But then when I push it in, it can't bottom out because it has to push in to engage. I hope you guys could follow that. I know this thing looks a little hokey, but I think it's gonna work. This is a really tight fit. Let's get this thing hee-hawed into place. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
that's out. I'm sure, but. Alright, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.